people may wonder what kind of connection are there. And one connection is uh, 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 soybean trade. And uh, Brazil has been providing a lot of soybean for China and in the effort to produce more meat uh, products. And uh, the uh, livestock uh, rely on soybean for, uh, as a food. So when Brazil produces soybean, a lot of um, uh, uh, farmland for soybean was converted from forest in the uh, rainforest. So uh, as the soybean production increase and the soybean uh, import um, uh, from uh, Brazil increase, that means increase the footprint of uh, human activities on Brazil forest. Um, uh, not just the uh, impact on the environment, but also the huge impact on the human well-being, uh, both in China and Brazil and many other parts of the world. And just the use uh, soybean trade as example, because uh, when China import uh, soybean from Brazil, that means uh, the soybean uh, producers, the farmers, who used to produce soybean in China are uh, forced to do something else. Either abandon the farmland or convert the farmland to go other types of crops because the soybean uh, price from Brazil is much lower than the price of soybean produced inside China. So that's a, a kind of human uh, impact on, on the uh, farmers and through this uh, international trade. The connection uh, are through different ways. One way is through the trade and another way is through uh, tourists. And a lot of tourists used to come here to see the pandas, to see the long landscape. And they come from different parts of the world, including those from the United States, Brazil, and uh, Europe and other parts of the world.